three days ago, the same bitch told me that she had an episode because she's an episode. She's doing crazy. <laughs> This is she's losing her mind. This is always losing their mind. Because yeah, okay. the, the doctor upped her meds. Because she's oh, so she really she says she's, she's bipolar. Down. And she all them nut sperms in her and shit, man. Oh yeah. All them nut sperms in her and shit, man. It's got her got her gut. She's going crazy, man. Oh, right, I was listening to uh you know Tex Mars, right? Mm -hmm, Tex Mars. I was checking out Eric, I ain't listened to it in a minute. I decided to put it on last night. And he's doing a show on uh, you know Martin Luther. The leader of the Protestant Reformation. Mm -hmm. They said Martin Luther wrote a book right before he died about the Jews. And he uh and he had lived with a Jew who told him how fucked up the Jews were. He didn't live, he was good friends with a Jew who hated the Jews. You know what I'm saying? And he and he was teaching Martin Luther about how dirty and evil they were. Because when they go up in their synagogues, all they're doing is plotting on you. You know how when we go to church, we in church right now, this is church. We we go to church and we, we read scriptures. Tabernacle. When they go up in the synagogues, what do you think they're doing in there? They plotting, plotting on, your on your ass. And they, they they got laws and shit that they teach. They teach the Jews if uh, if you're a Jew and you're a doctor, you work in a hospital, that you got to make sure you can figure out a way to kill your uh, patients if they're uh, one of us. You know, if, if it's a non-Jew, but mm -hmm. well, they call us goyim. When they're the goyim, let's get that right. Yeah, oh, yeah. Same yeah. thing the Egyptians did when they told the midwives to go and kill the Israelites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you read that. They finish it, uh, trying to finish the that's, cycle. That's why a lot of the so-called Jews, they own all the uh, they own all the food companies. They're putting poison in your food. They shitting in your food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Pissing in your water. Mm -hmm. Now, especially the children's food. I'd be scared to death to eat some cereal. You got to feed it to your children. You know, it's like none of this food is safe. It tastes the same. Refried beans has probably got shit all up in it. It's easy to hide it in there. You know what I'm it's saying? It's hard to find a cereal man that you can trust, man. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's for real, man. It's hard. Because with the Jew, plus all the food has a has a Jew tax on it. You look on it, got a, a U with a circle. And there's a bunch of different symbols. Just get on Google. Go to Google Images or Google whatever. Just type in Jew tax. Jew food tax. And some shit will pop up. And it'll show you all the different logos. Oh, let me use my tablet. Oh, okay. Yeah, bust that out, man. Because if you don't, if you, if the food you're buying shouldn't cost as much as it does. One, because our money's worthless, which is, you can blame that on the Jew. The Jew hijacked the whole financial system, stole all of America's gold. Okay, that's a fact. The Jews own the Federal Reserve. They're the ones who print the money. And then they own all the banks. They print the money and own the banks. Not only that, they own all the uh, the food distribution centers where they distribute all the food. And they will not distribute, say if you got a product, you can sell barbecue sauce or something. You started your own big barbecue sauce business or whatever. But you can't distribute it across the nation without paying the Jews a tax. They got to get a cut. They got this shit in the block. Yeah, it's right. Wait, you got the symbols? Oh, right? no, no, it's trying to Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to get it. I don't know how that shit is. Janky ass. Plus, you got everybody hacking you, right? Uh, government listening in on this is the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Man, they supposed to be coming out with a free version of Androids. I must have turned off my They supposed to come out with a free Android. Well, it's not, that's already free, but like free is a free software with it's gonna be all open source free software. Oh, yeah, they yeah, they're working on it. Yeah, but I've already seen that guy. What's up, man? Uh, they already came out with some, uh, they got uh, cell phones they're trying to come out with that they're non-proprietary. Meaning, uh, you know, there's no patents on the hardware. Meaning, anybody's free to use the hardware or whatever. There's no secret components or nothing like that. Pass, they trying to pass laws in Congress saying that we can't use non-proprietary uh, hardware because the government has to be able to spy on us. Because children might, if the government can't spy on us, then children might die. That's what they said. I, I posted it on Twitter, man. I forget how exactly the story goes. But they trying to make it so you cannot have a phone 
that, that, is, that you have complete control of. They, they got to be a back door in it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to have a desktop. I mean, if you build with computers, you can you can have some decent security. It's hard to have good security on a phone. And they're going to make sure that you never get good security. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. You can't even download apps now without uh, or certain apps. Yeah, they're making that shit, don't you? Yeah. What? You can't download apps? They're making, like, like where apps, you, like, like you I can't find the base like Oh, yeah. Well, I know what you're saying. Yeah. When you download the app, now it says you have to give permission to access this and that. To access your location. Your location. Well, yeah, well, my phone uh, app is asking for my location. I am not installing that shit. They didn't even tell you uh, for them to turn your phone off and on <laughs> for, some, for some weird fucking reason. Oh, really? Man, this got its own service through Verizon, so I ain't picking up nothing. Oh, no. Oh, fuck it. But, I mean, they watching this on, they already on the internet if they watching this video. You can take your lazy ass to Google. And oh, you can, this is tripping out. You can type in, just get on Google and type in uh, Jew food tax. Are you a Jew? You know about the food tax. The Jews got shit unlocked, man. He looked at me like, there's a lot of Jews out here. Because the only kind of, if you see a white there's male a usually, there's a, usually the only white males going to colleges are so-called Jews. Because most people who go to colleges are females to begin with. And most of the men, the only, only black men they're going to have going to the college is a football player. Yeah, and only white boys, it ain't gonna be, they're going to be Jews. Yeah, you ever see a Jew on a football team? Yeah. <laughs> you ever see? Never seen no soccer, no baseball. No, nothing. Sport, nothing. Nothing. Not even hockey. Hell no, not no hockey. They can't play nothing, man. They can't do shit. But you reading the Bible, it tells you the Israelites were the greatest warriors of all time. King David killed tens of thousands. Saul killed thousands. Uh, Joshua was a mighty warrior leaping over walls, killing giants. You can you think you can imagine one of these so-called Jews fighting a giant? Yeah, he'll get squished. <laughs> yeah, they be eating his ass. They stick <laughs> they stick a stick up his ass in the bar and rotisserie that motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. They, they, don't, they don't fit the bill. Yeah, because giants were cannibals. They don't fit the bill at all. They, they do not fit the bill. They do not fit the description. Like if the cops was out looking for him, they'd never find him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They come and arrest us. Yeah, they don't fit the bill. Nah. They're lions. Yeah, they're not a lion. They do not have a lion spirit. No, not at all. You see the lion spirit, all you gotta do is watch a football game. Cause that's the closest you can get to a warrior these days. They're, you know what I mean? They, like, drag, they saw in that shit. Oh yeah, they saw in that shit. Still, but the only way you will find a Jew if you watch a football game, he'll be sitting in the owner's box. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's exactly where he'll be. He the slave master. Ain't that owner's box. What's your boy That's Goodell? Goodell's a fucking Jew. What's the commissioner Aaron Silver, the NBA so-called Jew? The last commissioner in the NBA was David Stern, a fucking Jew. You ain't never gonna see, we gonna see Magic Johnson gonna be the next commissioner? <laughs> yeah, right. That ain't happening. <laughs> that is never gonna happen. Who else? Bud Selig on that? I don't know who the commissioner is for the May, uh, baseball. It used to be Bud Selig. Maybe it still is. I don't know. Man. That's a fucking Jew. Right you go down the line. You go to do the same thing with all the TV uh, companies. Disney's owned by a Jew. You say that shit still ain't working? Yeah. Oh, okay. You just talking shit about Jews. <laughs> I mean, that's something you gotta bring out though, because you got, because people, you out here teaching the Bible, we telling people we're Israelites. They're like, you're not from Israel. 
See. You're not a Jew. <laughs> Where, you don't go to the synagogue. That's what they'll tell you every time. These motherfuckers are stupid, man. They, they don't know how to, they don't have reading comprehension skills. They don't ever read the Bible. Like you said, they, they don't know how to compare. So that's all you gotta do is look in the Bible, compare the kings of Israel, and the, ask yourself, where are these people today? Let me match their characteristics up. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like you said, they, they, they're not lions. The devils are not, they do not have a lion spirit, a lion's heart. Like that one, uh, shit, everyone that came up here that we talked with, peep squeaks. Yeah, peep squeaks. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Like puny, like puny horses. <laughs> yeah, just got a foul spirit upon them. Foul. You know, you know, America's a nation of Satan, the kingdom of Satan. Y'all know that? Y'all a bunch of devils. You're going into slavery. He looked at me like, Tuh. <laughs> All to slavery you go. Non-Jews are unaware that all food products marked with the K or U symbol have been taxed by Jewish rabbis. Have been taxed by rabbis. Rabbis. And what does ra what does rabbi mean? Rabbi means master. Okay? It means great in Hebrew. And the Lord told you on what? Yahweh Shah, the one they called Jesus said, called no man on earth rabbi. That's right. That's right. Because there's only one that's great, and that's the Father. Uh, you keep going. The dog like right uh, that. I ain't gonna pass him. They don't talk about it. So oh, you know yeah. I've been fucking you, dude. The dog is really scared. Yep, yep. That's weird. You know that dog was expensive as hell. That's not what's that dog that you got? That big ass. Oh, what's that big? It was English master. That big slobbering thing. Yeah, right. What happened to him? It was actually like my dog. She got rid of him. Oh, that's messed up. I know. I was mad. Yeah. Remember, I, remember that one time I was uh, stayed at night at your house. I woke up with slobber all over me. <laughs> He's just on top of me, just drooling, <laughs> chewing on me. Yeah, going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Juggernaut. Oh yeah, juggernaut. No, it says no. Each nation has its own symbol. Check in local Jewish publications to find out what mark of the beast is being used in your own country. On every pantry shelf in America, they dozens of canned and packaged food products which have a tiny K or U printed. A tiny K. That's why you look on your food to be a, a K, a little uh -huh. tiny K on it, or a U with a circle around it. Mm -hmm. That's a Jew tax. Uh -huh. You got to be aware of this, these things. This symbol informs Orthodox Jews that the items have been checked by a rabbi to make sure that they have been prepared in accordance with Jewish dietary law. Now, that's some strange shit that just said red right there. That it's, um, well, let me read that again. But the they symbol, still, but it, hold up, but they going off right there because the Jews still do not, they don't buy the average products that we buy. That's right. They got, like, if, if you go to the Kroger in Bexley, because that's where all the Jews live over here is in Bexley. Kosher. They, they got a, you've been down there on, on Broad Street. I, they had ordered pizza, the Jewish people down. Uh, yeah, they won't eat it. They, they, they don't eat pizza. They own a pizza shop, but they won't eat it. You know what I mean? They know what's going so, in that uh, shit. They call it kosher. Yeah, they, what they claim is kosher. But, like, they got their own, you didn't see they got their own wine, the so-called kosher wine. Now, I've drank it before, it's terrible. It probably got blood in it. <laughs> Hey, I, it tastes like dookie. I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i never drinking that shit again. I get, get, Give me some good Italian wine. You know what I'm saying? All right. A lot of Carlos Rossi. That's that ghetto wine. Yeah, wine though. That's some fresh wine. Yeah, the Carlos Rossi. It's the Carlos Rossi. Hey, that's good if you ain't got no money. Don't be drinking that goddamn... Well, that's uh, really cheap though, because wine ain't expensive to the ages. Yeah. Ain't going to be Carlos Rossi is better than a uh, uh, wild Irish rose. <laughs> yeah, hell it's a 50 50. 50 50 of what? What is that shit? 50 50? Rubbing alcohol. 50% rubbing alcohol. 
50 percent hey, fucking drink, goat piss hey i've seen some crazy ass drunk drinking rubbing alcohol yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I've seen people drink yeah. uh, Listerine. Listerine, oh, yeah, man. mouthwash. Yeah. Damn, that's, that's some nasty bad. shit. Yeah, you you desperate drinking that shit. Yeah, you crazy even use that shit because that ain't real mouthwash, yeah. man. No, the mouthwash ain't good for your mouth. Mm -hmm. It dries your gums out. Yeah, you use yeah, um, that, that, you use uh, right. food graded peroxide. Yeah, I use no, peroxide. I use peroxide. Peroxide, peroxide salt. Mm-hmm. Garbage salt on it. Yep. Yep. That's right. This symbol informs Orthodox Jews that the items have been checked by a rabbi to make sure that they have been prepared. Prepared. So what they do to prepare, yeah, prepared it. They taking a shit in it. They take pissing it. They, they jacking off in your mayonnaise. Hey man, look, that sound nasty. Now, we sound like stand up comedians, but. We do with a group of people. Yeah, but. That's yeah. what we're That serious, man. It's the wicked people that we're talking about. Because I had this uh, this teacher back in high school. I had this teacher back in high school, this light-skinned dude. He used to play basketball for Ohio State. He always bragged about how he used to play with Jimmy Jackson. I can't remember his name. I think his last name was Reeves or something. I can't remember. But he used to tell, he's like, he knew people that worked in the food industry. And he said he knew this dude that worked at the bologna factory. And he said he would just piss right up in the damn bologna. They said they gotta go to the bathroom. You just piss right in the bologna. Well, you ain't supposed to eat no bologna any damn way. That's foul. Got pork uh, nuts and nuts and balls in it and ears and lips. So if you eat hot dogs and bologna, man, you eating nuts and lips and ears and toes and shit. It's all mushed together. The whole damn body. Is yeah. So I mean, we got I got witnesses. Outside it. And he he uh. But this dude, he, he heard about that. He did all kind of research. And he found out about all the foul shit they do to your food. They pissing in your food, shit in it, spit in it. What do you think a Jew's going to do to your food? Hey, check this out. This is Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Yeah. Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Right, <laughs> right, because right, a leper can't change it. That's an old saying. Leper cannot change his spots. Yep, yep. So, like the Bible said, who's whosoever says that the the one Yahweh is not the Son of God is a liar. He's a devil. The so-called Judah is the number one antichrist too, man. Anytime you mention that that name, the name of the Lord, they, they look at you like they want to kill you, man. They fear that name. But the, the, the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. That's right. This is Isaiah 10 and 7. How did he meeteth not so? Neither doth his heart think so. But it is in his heart to destroy and cut off nations, not a few. That's all they do. That's all, that's all Esau does. Not just a Jew. Ju they're not the only Edomites on the planet. You got the Rockefellers too. They're not Jewish, are they? That's from another tribe of Esau. Just like the, uh, what's some other families? Like, like uh, I'm trying to think of those bankers. Well, you got like people like Bill Gates. Uh, you got motherfuckers. Yeah, the Morgans. That's what I was thinking, the Morgans. We can read about Fritz Springmeyer got that book about the Illuminati families. You read that? Fritz, Fritz, that old school Fritz, Fritz, I can't say his damn name. Fritz Springmeyer, he's got some book called the Illuminati Bloodlines or something like that. And he breaks down all these top families. What's the name of It's uh, Illuminati Bloodlines, I think, by Fritz Springmeyer. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. It's an old book. Yeah. Oh, my bad, man. Yeah, the car yeah, the Carnegie, yeah. Oh, you know about that? You from Pittsburgh? Yeah. They got that Carnegie, the Carnegie uh, museum, school. Yeah, that. I, I went to the Carnegie Science place. Yeah, Science Center. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Where the hell you been? We had to go take a picture. Shit. <laughs> had to do a number three. <laughs> and number three, I never heard of number three. I know about <laughs> number one and two, but well, number three sounds scary. <laughs> that sounds like crazy. That sounds like real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed it, boy. Well, someone came up. Oh no, nah, we was just 
We done went into a fucking. We was talking about some wild, crazy shit. Yeah, but it's edifying. It's going in on. It's edifying, though. Yeah, it is edifying. It's still the same battery? No, it's the second battery. <laughs> it is going I'm in on Edo. Yeah, we're going in on Esau. So he going in on us. Yeah, he sure the hell is. In the bed, too. Flying. <laughs> right now, as we speak. We could piss tribulation on him. Man, you got, man, people are waking up to these faggots, man. Yeah, yeah. They waking. I don't care, you get on any comment board on YouTube, everybody's gonna be talking shit about the Jews. Everybody's saying Alice Jones, he's a Zionist agent. <laughs> I can believe that though. Just like Farrakhan is too. No, he definitely is. Yeah, yeah he do play both sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah, cause Alice Jones, you know, he played both sides with that Ferguson shit. Well, well with all this. Yeah, he, so he he can't say too much bad about. He ain't gonna get no pussy mm -hmm. if he. But he fucking that Leanne Mackintosh. He gotta be fucking. I'd be fucking hell at that bitch. Leanne, man, that's what people call her Mackintosh. She got some big old titties. Yeah, but she's dumb. I can't watch her videos, man. She does not sound like a real reporter. She just sound like a dumbass bitch talking. No, even your boy Jakar, he sounds retarded. Joe Biggs Joe. the coolest one out of all of them. Yeah, Joe Biggs will hold. Dude, Alex Jones, he gets on my nerves. He be, and half the time it sounds like he acting. Yeah, he, he's real fucking He's selling he's shit all day long. Yeah. Yeah, he's talking about evolution and talking about the human species. We're a species. <laughs> what the fuck? So you know this dude ain't really down with no truth. Talking about calling us the human species. He's always talking about losing weight, but he's gaining weight. Yeah, he always talking about it, yeah. That that his products made him lose weight. This motherfucker getting <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's a good hustler, boy. That's what he is. I, I like some Alex Jones though, don't get me wrong. I've been watching the hell out of some info wars. Because I had to play in the game Just to you know. I like radio. You can admit he a good radio host. Very good radio host. <laughs> I don't think he be getting good guests like he used to though. I think like five years ago he used to get the crazy guests on. He used to talk about crazy shit. Yeah, that's changed my radio. He don't really do that no more. I like hearing my, I like the crazy shit, man. Uh memory support is this is good shit though. Um they have been prepared in accordance with Jewish dietary law. As set forth in the Jewish Talmud, the real Bible of the Jews. What? They're right. The really? real Bible of the Jews is the Talmud. <laughs> Just like the Talmud said, uh, what does it say? That's a lie. We got oh, some that's kind of deceiving. That's right there. The, yeah. real, the real Bible of the Jews. That's kind of deceiving too. Yeah. The fake, the Jewish people, the Talmud. That's their, that's, yeah. their unholy book. Exactly. The, real, the Jews, real Jews. The Israelites. Right, that's why it's good to talk about this because people always say, when you say a Jew to somebody, mm -hmm. uh, a motherfucker wearing a yarmulke mm -hmm. and a, you got dookie curls coming down and like wearing all black pops in their mind. Mm -hmm. and when you say Jew to somebody, they get a vision in their head of someone going like this. That's not a Jew. That's a Jewish. That's a, that's, all right here, let's get back to this. You can see, we can't really, we can't bring this out enough. The synagogue of Satan. This will have a Jew's own book. This will have the Jewish Encyclopedia, 1925 edition. It says, Edom is modern Jewry. Strictly speaking, it is incorrect to call an ancient Israelite a Jew or to call a contemporary Jew an Israelite or a Hebrew. But actually, that's, they are Hebrews. They're Hebrew Edomites. They're not Hebrew Israelites. They got a picture of those symbols. Um, I haven't found it yet. Oh, you hit, hit I, images. I was just reading this week. Oh, okay. I want to get it. Oh, you can read more, but you got more too. More, yeah, please. go ahead. American food companies are forced to pay multi-billions of dollars to several Orthodox Jewish organizations, such so as an estimate 10 to 20% of Jewry, or 800,000 to no more than 1.2 million Orthodox Jews will buy their products. Please bear in mind that this is a country of 270 million people and we all 
are forced to pay their kosher tax. But nobody, forced. nobody knows, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows about this shit. Right. Just yep. like, just like people don't understand why the price of food keeps going up, because they don't understand that our money is worthless. They don't understand that the fucking Jews are the ones who print the money. They mm -hmm. don't, they, they don't understand that. Yeah. That's why you gotta keep saying it over and over again. Over. You might sound repetitive as hell. Who gives a fuck? Just say it over and over again. Some boring, people say they, you know, they say it's boring. You're right. You know, it ain't for yeah, you. can't repeat it enough. How the fuck else you gonna learn something if you don't keep repeating? How else you gonna get the word out? That's you can't right. just get the word out by saying something one time. Hey, they don't get mad at the most high because all through the Bible he's repeating stuff. Yeah, he does repeat it over <laughs> and over you know? again. Your you know homie's selling tie dye. He you knows people are hard hit. You gotta keep it going. You gotta hammer it in. Yeah. So all we're doing is hammering it in. Okay, and we are all forced to pay this kosher tax just to appease less than 1% of the world population. So that's a small group. Yeah, this, here it is, the Bible. It, the Bible says that Israel is the most numerous people on earth, right? But the so-called Jew only makes up 0.2% of the entire population on earth. Does that sound like saying to the seashore to you? Does that sound like an innumerable multitude? <laughs> Let me get that scripture. Let me get that scripture. It don't seem like a lot of fucking going on. All right, who would want to fuck that nasty <laughs> maggot cover pussy? <laughs> Bitch, just stink scratching and shit. Stinking. I ain't going up in that. Woo. But the rabbi yeah. liked that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy that works at the bakery that brings our bread to work, yeah. he said that the Jews won't buy the bread from them unless it has this symbol on it. And he was like, the symbol don't even mean shit, they just put it on the packages. There ain't no Jew that works at the bakery. That's amazing. Like the Jews, but really, they don't even really buy, they usually don't, they usually don't buy the same products that we have. Like, like that Kroger I go to on Broad Street, that like is right by my house, which is close, I don't live in Bexley. But I live close by it, so I like to go to that Kroger. They zeroing in on you, buddy. Well, they already know where I'm at. They zeroing in on he Well, the feds already info. know where we at. <laughs> He's giving us more and more. Oh shit! Uh, Man, there's some crazy people. Oh, these people? Yeah, there's some crazy people. Oh, they can come find me though. I'll, it'll be have fun. But uh. What was I about to say? Oh Goes yeah, they got, uh, you can buy the, cho they got chocolate syrup. Say you like to get some chocolate syrup. Uh, you can buy the, the, the chocolate syrup for the Goyim. The regular chocolate syrup is made out of high fructose corn syrup, which can cause cancer and make you uh, drop dead, right? That costs what, a dollar, fifty, two dollars? But then they got the, the, the syrup in the juice section made out of real sugar. It's like six dollars. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Sugar right, because they the only person can the, the only ones that can uh, afford that is a fucking Jew. Sugar yeah, I don't I don't like that. I, I stopped giving my boys anything with high fructose in it, man. Cause that shit fucks you up. Fucks up your arteries, fucks up your heart, causes cancer. It's made from corn. It's like when you buy ketchup from the store. Well, how can you go to the store you buy ketchup? You think it's made out of tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. Wrong. Yeah, right, yeah. It's made out of corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. Yeah, I don't even buy um, ketchup. I ain't bought them so fucking long. Like, my time. boys, like uh, Alex, he likes to eat uh, the peanut butter jelly sandwiches. Mm -hmm. But all the jelly's made out of high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, yeah. But you have to go find some uh, some non fructose syrup. Yeah, that's fucked up. Can they do that on purpose? All that high fructose shit is always in the children's snacks. It's always yeah, in, it's, it's, in it's in everything. Yeah, it's in everything. Well, especially the little kid shit too, though. They put it in fucking bread. You like that? You know how you think those Capri Suns juices are so delicious? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? But yeah. they're so tasty. But what's in it? Not sugar, high fructose corn syrup. It's in everything. everything. There's some pop you can get. I don't barely drink pop, but if I ever do drink pop, I get some shit. Like they got that Jones you can get, it's all sugar. $4 for an eight pack. Yeah, $4 for an eight pack. It costs a lot more. But even that sugar's not good for you either. Bro. You buy a 12 ounce of the real sugar. They sell the Pepsi and Mountain Dew at the stores, but it's a dollar for a 12 ounce. 
man, I ain't drinking no Coke, man. Last time I drank a Coke, I thought I was gonna die. Got some Ebola from the Coca-Cola. It looks like a Juno's Ooh, bastard. Yeah, that's been a lot. That's been a while since I had man, some I can't, these Coke, people, that's, Pepsi. These people that's all they drink all day, never drink water. They just drink a Coca-Cola. And you can see that look in their eyes. It's just like a... Oh, that damn caffeine. Shit, one man, the nigga woman and her children, all they drink is um, Fago Pop. Oh, that's Fago. I used to, dr I used to drink the hell out of Fago. Yeah, Fago is made for the poor people. You yeah. drink the shit out of that. I used Fago. to love that special yeah. thing, that Fago. That Fago was my top shit. Yeah, Fago, but I love Fago Cola. The strong flavor. Yeah. Fago, that's the name brand. Well, that's what that was. What's the insane clown pot that made it famous? And RC. Oh, RC, yeah. I was about to read a scripture. Back to them Jews. To prove to who the real Israelites are, I'm going to go to Revelation 7 and 9. So after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Let me read this again. With that, it says, just to appease less than 1% of their world population. Right, so that's the, so how can a Jew be in, they say less than 1% of the world's population. <laughs> So they're like the smallest people on earth. They do not fit this description. This said a great multitude, which no man could number of all nations. You know what they, I mean? Of people and kindreds. Mm -hmm. So, cause Israel comes in all colors too. That's something a lot of fools can't understand. But it says it so right here. It says all kindreds. The so-called Jews, they only come in one color. And that's pasty. Well, they'd be like, well, we got some black Jews over there in Israel. You seen them? What do they call them? They had some uh, black Jews, so-called, that went over to Israel. But they put them, like, by the nuclear waste dump or something. Oh, yeah, yeah there actually are some niggas that actually went over there to live. And, but they've yeah, injected yeah. all what the women. The fuck? That's what, uh, exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> 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 Fucking freak now, show. Now, now we don't have to go out uh, went over there. Oh, oh shine. shine. Yeah. Yeah, he so see they love it too. The Jews love it when you bow down to them and you go to them for wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> yeah, they love that they shit. They love it, man. Yeah, they got shine up on a motherfucking pedestal with that. So they gonna, they, but they they gonna fuck around while he's partying with them. He gonna go to the bathroom. They done pissed in his glass or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They got, they got that motherfucker sitting at the motherfucking table with these motherfuckers. Like, but but they trust me. They're not treating him nice. They're, oh, they're yeah, not his brother. Yeah. They don't operate like they that. Send him up for the hooky -dooky. Like we had that Jew out here. He tried to he tried to invite us to the synagogue. Fuck! I'm not going in there. I'm trying to stay alive. Okay, y'all gonna sacrifice me to Molech? He was, Molech. Just, yeah, he he was, was a photo of one. How oh, they got it right there? Get that on camera if you can. Like well, that, you can Google that. Just go to Google. Uh, man, what you got? Firefox. Uh, that's a nice little browser. Saw. That looks like a desktop browser. <laughs> uh, just type in in the Google Images. Oh, are you still reading the article? <laughs> She's his computer voice. Ooh, hot. That would suck being fucked up in a wheelchair, and that's the only time you get a hot bitch. Fucking dick don't even work. That's a no, curse. That from bitch the is lesbian. Yeah, that's, a that's a curse from the most high, man. Wicked as hell. I, I pray to them. See, that's why I don't I don't be quick to make fun of people, man, because I, I don't want the most high to fuck me up, man. Cause I, I well if one day I have to wake up, dick don't work. You know what I'm saying? Most high will fuck you. That's why you gotta fear the most high, man. Yeah. And he will fuck you up. He hit somebody and shoot you. If you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it turned you, it turned you to a beauty. Well, he was just talking about that not too long ago. People were growing bark on their face. Yeah, but that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Leprosy, some actual real live leprosy when your no goddamn nose will fall off. Yeah, that's, uh, 
<laughs> that, that's a curse for your ass. Then they got that elephant shit. Elephant titus. Yeah, your balls will get so big, you gotta yeah. push them in a wheelbarrow. Yeah, look like you just going to explode. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the episode of South Park, when everybody was catching <laughs> cancer, but making their balls blow up on purpose. They, they was trying to microwave their balls. Hey, I gotta start watching South Park, man. Hey, okay, okay, South Park be having some shit in there, man. I ain't watched that show in years, years, long time. They had, uh, no, that wasn't South Park. That was uh, American Dad. So I never watched no shows at all. They, they, they actually had on one of the episodes on that shit that you that you brought up a while back about the Russians not, they're not accepting hey, gay Americans adopting their kids. Oh yeah. They, uh, had, they actually had that on the show. On American Dad? Yeah, on American Dad. Yeah, they always put shit in them shows, man. Just like on Family Guy, how they predicted the uh, the Boston bombing. Well, they didn't predict it. They told you it was going to happen. That Boston Marathon shit. They always show you uh, in the cartoon. They show there's all kinds of truth in the cartoon. That the average person can't see it though. They fucking they got they got blinders on. They just think, oh, it's just a funny cartoon. Ha 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 ha. And really, you can't even understand half the jokes on these shows unless you're a scholar. Because there's so many different layers and meanings to the jokes. Right, right. Like, I don't know, you watch Family I haven't watched it in years, but I remember watching that Family Guy. They would start talking shit about the Jews. And people won't even get it unless they know about the Jews. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Oh, no, they won't get it at all, yeah. Like, they had this one episode where they showed them they was writing the Constitution. Uh, and they was writing the, the, the first 10 amendments, whatever. And uh, Benjamin Franklin, he told him to put in, to put in the part where no Jews are allowed. And they didn't put it in. He's like, I warned you. <laughs> you see that? No, I didn't see He's that. He's like, I, I was like, I warned you. I told you. Because actually, uh, Benjamin Franklin actually did say that. Oh, yeah. That's what they say. He actually warned them about the Jews. Motherfuckers, yeah. Cause back then, more people knew about the Jews than that. Now, now the people are asleep. Yeah. Cause back, yeah, because back in the, when the, I got looked at up, the first Jewish baseball player. The first per, Jewish baseball player, they used to spit on him. Jews used to get beat up, man. If you went to school, you was a Jew, you get the shit beat out of you. They, people, they knew the level of their wickedness, man. Cause they like, probably hated him more than Jackie Robinson. Yeah, well, they, it's pretty much the same type of deal. But they really hated Jackie Robinson. They did not like him. Yeah, but them devils knew they were doing wicked, man, because Thomas Jefferson made this quote. It's a famous quote, too. And he said, we always hear about Thomas Jefferson being a deist, which seems almost a ghost for the Yet on his monument, Jefferson says, can the liberties of a nation be secure when we have removed a conviction that these liberties are the gift of God. Indeed, I tremble for my country when I reflect that the most that God is just and that his justice cannot sleep forever. Motherfuckers like, you know, this is y'all, man, we're gonna pay for this shit. Yeah. Because this is the level of the wicked, man. This is king. Well, because Thomas king Jefferson, like I said, he was a deist. Mm -hmm. He said he believed in the most high. But he didn't believe in uh he didn't he didn't believe in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. He, he, decided, it, he thought the Bible was a book of fairy tales. You know what I'm saying? But he said there could possibly be a God, but the Bible's bullshit. That's what he believed. Pretty right, much. Right, right, That's right, what in right, all the founding right, fathers, they're all deists. Or claimed if some of them were just flat out deity. devil worshippers. Well, right. Their de their deity is their Satan that they worship. Well, yeah, because we, we already know about the Freemasons. And George Washington was a Freemason. And secretly, the, uh, the Freemasons worship Baphomet. They said when you get to a certain level up in Freemasonry, they reveal to you that you actually worship s Satan. You know what I mean? Yep. That's why you're not, allowed to, you're not allowed to teach the Bible in the Freemasonic Lodge. They'll kick your ass out. Then they, but then they try to pretend like they're godly. Oh, get on YouTube. 
get on YouTube and type uh, Freemason Bible. There's plenty of people who got videos on Freemason Bibles. They got videos on YouTube, and they'll show you the Bible. But inside the Bible, I have a. Uh, they'll be talking, have pictures of the, all the Egyptian gods. Yeah, uh, you know, Ra and Horus. And, and you know, just mixes all this shit together, man. Because essentially, Freemasons. The Freemasons teach you you can worship whatever you want. Because that's who's going to be behind pushing that one world religion. And Freemason, actually, Ivor Pike said free Freemasonry is based on the Kabbalah, the Jewish mysticism, which goes back to Esau, the so called Jew. Yeah, but if you go to the Muslim world, they got Muslim, uh, they got Muslim lodges where everybody's Muslims. If you go to a Christian country, they'll have Christian lodges where everybody claims to be Christians. If you go to India, they have Hindu lodges. You know what I'm saying? So, so Freemasonry, they, they take all the different beliefs and mix them all together. And that's what that... Yeah, to a big pile of shit. But, well, well that, that explains... But well, that's what America's all about, though, ain't it? A melting pot. Yeah. A melting pot of what? And they just bring everything together. You gotta accept everybody. Uh, you got the freedom of religion. You can worship Satan. All just came out in the news that somebody down in Florida somewhere, they got approved for a, a, a public satanic uh, Christmas. I think it's some kind of statue. I didn't really, I didn't, I just seen it right before I came out here. I didn't really get a read up on it. Because you got Satanists pushing to get their little monuments put out in public. They're like, well, the Christians can have their monuments and Ten Commandments. We should be able to put our devil out there and our, you know? Oh, yeah. And then people are in agreement, like, yeah, they have the freedom of religion. <laughs> like, these motherfuckers worship Satan. Do you know who Satan is? <laughs> Motherfucker, Satan is evil. I mean, all logic goes out the window. We're talking about Satan. <laughs> Motherfucking Satan. He likes to kill people, eat children. I mean, the dirtiest and the nastiest. Satan, I mean, he's fucking Satan. Fuck goats. If you, if you admitted that you even worship Satan, you should get put to death. Like, burn at the stake. On the spot. Get burned. Yeah. No, we gonna burn him at the stake. Do it how they used to do it. How King James used to do it. King James will burn your ass at the stake. Talking that witchcraft and Satan shit. Like, oh, God damn, burn him. <laughs> you know, real he, quick. He, real quick, boy. Maybe he could burn your ass at the stake. The fire is the best cure. Yeah, to cure all them impurities in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Very good sanitizer for your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Common sense goes out the window. The, the Israel ain't got no common sense either. No. Oh, you know. Oh, never mind. I was, never mind. I was thinking. You never got no pictures on that thing. That's all good. Because if you if you can't distinctively know something right now, then yeah, you, you just straight blind block. That thing about to die. You're void of judgment. We're talking about Satan. They worship Satan. Oh, I gotta, I'm gonna get that famous scripture. We always get it. I mean, that proves that America is the kingdom of Satan. Satan. Motherfucking Satan. Satan. The adversary. Satan. He's like, oh, like Alan Iverson kept saying, practice. Practice? This is Satan? We're talking about Satan. <laughs> Satan? I don't know, man. Hey, like, well, what's that one scripture? I can't, I can't remember the top of my head, but. That's in the apocrypha. Second Ezra. What's that in like? I had that written down too. They said that we told that the generation before us was stronger. Let me get this while you can find it now. Revelation 2 and 13. I know thou works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. America's a kingdom of Satan. That's proof. When, you, when a Satanist can have a sat satanic monument, they can put a monument out in public. 
What does that tell you? Oh, that's freedom of religion, freedom of expression. Freedom to express Satanism? That made no fucking sense. That's just... That's the philosophy of a gun. That's gone. You're gone, man. You're fucking gone. Talk to say that shit. I mean, did, uh, if y'all didn't know, did you, did you not know that devil worshippers sacrifice children? Did you know that? Oh, there's a limit on Satanism? That's what they think. That he's oh, only go so Well, far. Satan's just misunderstood. Right. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard yeah. that. Yeah. You hear that all the time. He's just misunderstood. misunderstood. Mm -hmm. That's why I heard, yeah, I heard his uh, Oliver Stone's son. I forgot that faggot's name. He's a big faggot, too. He was on Alex Jones' show. I don't think he's been back on since. He was. He might have, but he was trying to tell Alex Jones that Baal was just misunderstood. <laughs> Everybody on the comment board was like, what the fuck? <laughs> he was actually, you gotta find that video, man. He was actually telling him, he was like, Baal is misunderstood. And it, it's not that bad. It's like a, it, it's, it's, a, a, it's an imagination. <laughs> and these, these things don't even exist. Well, Satan exists. Yeah, but Baal well, I know what you're saying. Yeah, all these false gods and the pagan guys. That's like, that's like, uh, that remind me of that movie, I dropped their friend. Oh yeah, you got an imaginary friend? <laughs> yeah, they got imaginary friend. Oh, it's been years since I've seen that. I see that as old school. <laughs> Did he really <laughs> exist or was she crazy? I, I think she was not. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Remember or she shit. created some bullshit in her brain or something like Let's that. Let bring this right full here. scripture out real quick. So I know that this Revelation 2 and 13, I know that works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name. What's the Lord's name? So you got people try to say the Lord's name don't matter. Like he, he'll save you anyway. Y'all know America is the kingdom of Satan. Y'all love you love Satan, don't you? I've seen that shit. Boy. Ain't them dudes ain't looking at that. <laughs> Boy, she's I, fat. She's fat too. I just be looking at that the whole time like this. Man, I'll drain myself dry over the next two days. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Dude, them, them dudes weren't even thinking about That's that. That's what I'm saying. They, they was all looking straight. Like, they was thinking about each other, sucking each other's cock. Yeah, they them motherfuckers, man. I would have been mad. That's, Damn. That's part of that lion spirit. They ain't got a shit of a lion. That's what I'm saying, because the lion ain't going to sit through this lion. This a lion just takes that ass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not going to sit there. Excuse me, you do realize it's cold as fuck, right? <laughs> I be like that sometimes, though. Sometimes you realize it's cold as yeah. fuck. Sometimes the cold don't phase me. My hands are cold, though. Hey, yeah, man. So I be, man. That's another thing. It's Waldo's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got to stand here like... This look and shit with my head down and shit. That's a uh, look at them. sexual harassment. Yeah, yeah, and look at the ass or some shit now. Sexual harassment. It's, so I gotta watch. But they'll, but they'll put that ass. Yeah, yeah, but they'll put that ass on the the uh, on the ass on, Yeah. It's it's ass on YouTube. Right, right. <laughs> you porn. You yeah, porn. You porn. <laughs> you porn. <laughs> but, but Fuck you book. Fuck book. Is that a site? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's millions and millions and billions of videos on those uh, porn sites. They, they got porn, it's just like YouTube. They post the millions of videos every day. And you yeah, get, you get, a, day. Get, a, get on Alexa. Every day. You get on the Alexa, <laughs> you get on Alexa, the top websites. <laughs> Pornhub is like, we got, we should look that up. Look on, get on Alexa and look up. Porn, Pornhub is up in the top 20, I guarantee it. Right, top 10. That's one of the top websites on the planet. You ever get on Alexa, look up the top sites? You never heard of it? It's a website rating. Tell you what sites had the most traffic. And usually Google's always number one, Facebook's number two, and YouTube's always number three. What's it called again? Alexa, A-L-E-X-A. -E Let me read, why you getting down? Let me read this again. I know the works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. Like when you go down to see the Lincoln's Monument, got Lincoln sitting in that chair, that's Satan sitting in that chair right there. 
That ain't no different than that ancient Greek or Roman temple. They ain't no different. Yeah, because Zeus is Satan. Matter of fact, um, well, I think I was watching uh, Troy not that long ago. Some Greek mythology movie bullshit. They got Apollo in it. Um, yeah, uh, how the Lincoln statue set up. Oh, yeah. It was just like that, but uh, Zeus or Apollo was inside. Had the same. Uh, that was probably had the same I setup. Forget, what's your, we talking about Troy with Brad Pitt? I think it was that Troy. Was, I don't know if it was Troy. It was a. It was like a movie about some Greek uh, shit. Oh, I know you watched that Troy. They show you got statues of Apollo in it. And they show you Apollo is a black guy. It's in the background. Oh no. There's a temple in there, man. Where well, they show your boy, uh, there's one of the Troy temples. Cause all, all that Greek mythology go back to the Israelites. The 12 Titans. That's based on the Israelites that you read about in Genesis, the sixth chapter. About the Nephilim, one of the daughters of men. Let me get that real quick. <laughs> they considered that blasphemy. Yeah, they, 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 they was butt hurt. They Achille that head shit, off. Achilles was an Israelite. He chopped the head smooth off. He keeps taking it to the website. We got to pay for that. Really? Yeah. You shouldn't have to pay for it. Oh well, fuck it. Y'all can look that up on your own. Uh, just get on Alexa. Do your hey, do your own goddamn <laughs> research. <laughs> Lazy motherfuckers. It's like no. Bitches. No, don't call them no. bitches. <laughs> I, actually, there was a lot of. So we ain't gonna. You got lazy people watch our videos. They come to steal knowledge from us. We ain't talking about our brothers. We got a lot of cool brothers watch our videos. You know what I'm saying? We got love for you. We got a lot of assholes to watch our videos too. Man, you got, but you got, yeah, but you got people are watching our videos that hate us. But they just keep watching the video. It's like a love hate relationship. They Your homie like, Chris. Huh? Chris. Christopher? Yeah, Christopher Lord. Christopher yeah, I, I Lord. Seen a, I seen a, uh,